Two different continents with two very impressive teams. The Ingebrigtsens, led by Captain and the older of the brothers, Henrik Ingebrigtsen, with Philip, who already ran the 1000, and young Jakob, the two time European champion, just missed out on medals in the 1500 and the 5000 at the Worlds last year. He's still only 19. And they, with some help here, five members of the team, will be taking on the Kenyan team led by Timothy Chariot, who are in Nairobi. So an incredibly innovative event. Two teams in different continents, separated by 4,000 miles, competing against each other. The rules of this are, <clears throat> this is Team Chariot, Timothy Chariot there. The rules are that it will be the cumulative times of the three fastest athletes will probably be the only three who finish because I think both teams are going to use two team makers. Elijah Manango is still good to see him back. Injury beset last year, so back racing. And this young man here, everyone there, this training group are talking about how well he's going, Edwin Melly. Uh, he's had so many injuries over the years, groin problems, other problems, and now he's going to be trying to help the two big names take on the Inga Britsons there. Two pacemakers for the Kenyans, Wilson Keita and Timothy Sign. They've been all training together. Oh, they've been given permission by Athletics Kenya to train together in recent weeks. And indeed, these guys have as well. So the Inga Britsons have two of their training partners with them, Para Silva and Norvegilia Nordas. And they're going to be setting the pace. And they're looking for, they've said they're going to go They're aiming for, you'd think, around about 450, <clears throat> that European record which uh, Jakob says he's going to go for on the last lap. It feels good, but Henrik says, hey, don't think it's all about young Jakob. I'm going to have a go as well if I feel good. And I guess the question is, how much is Philip Ingebrigtsen still feeling that 1,000 metres from a Norwegian record from 45 minutes ago? Well, I don't think the world record uh, still held by Hisham el Garij, which is an incredible 444.79 is uh, in danger here. But between the Kenyans, and the Inga Britain, so much talent. The best 1500 meter talent in the world here, taking on the 2000 meter distance. The two pacemakers will try and set them out. There's the green and the red lights, which will set the pace at around about 59, maybe 58, there, thereabouts. And if they go even paced at that sort of uh, speed, then hopefully somebody can pick it up on the last lap. Now, the Kenyans very proud. They say there's no way that we're going to let them. And the weather there looks atrocious, to be honest. And let's not forget, in Nairobi, it's 5,800 feet altitude. And this is the thing about two different venues. The whole point about athletics is you're in the same place at the same time and share the same conditions. This is different. So the Kenyans met with completely different weather. It looks windy and it looks, of course, very wet there. So here we have First 400 meters completed. The pace and the lights being followed. 58.91, that's spot on. Well, you'd expect it because he's following the lights. So a huge advantage here for all the Norwegian team. And the Kenyans, <clears throat> there you can see. Sign and Kita have got a tough job. Look at them leaning into the wind as well there. I can see uh, Manangoy and Chariot both leaning in the middle of between them is uh, Meli. Letting their two pacemakers take the brunt of the wind early on. Through 600 metres, still early stages. Pace spot on for the Norwegian team. The Ingebrigtsens had been due to head off to Flagstaff. That altitude trip had to be put on hold, obviously. The two you can see ahead of Philip there, they both ran a very impressive 5K race on the roads just recently. And just um, some signs that Manango is struggling with the pace there. That familiar style of Chariot in third place. Then Melly tucked in behind the, the world champion. Manango may be struggling with fitness. We know he's been struggling all last year. And in fact, uh, Chariot and Manango both kind of left training camp, went back to their homes. Um, Chariot working on his farm before they got the call about this race and they've been training for the last few weeks but it looks as though advantage very much with the Norwegian contingent and the three Ingebrigtsen brothers now out in front through the first thousand meters 
It's a little slow, to be honest. I think they're slowing down as well off record pace, but they could pick it up on the last lap. And the Kenyans are going to have some real problems here. It is the three times, the three best times, only Chariot looking good. Poor Manangoy, well off the pace there. So you've got to finish three athletes, so one of the pacemakers is going to have to uh, certainly step up there and help, as indeed may well be the case here with the Inga Britsons, because Philip Inga Britson is tired, very tired. We talked about this yesterday, about coming back after the 1,000 metres, and, well, this shows that whatever records are out there on paper, it's never so easy to attack them, and that at least the Inga Britsons both said that they'll treat them with respect, and now the pacemaker is stepping aside, and he notices that Philip Inga Britson is struggling, and he might have to keep going if he can, but it looks as though his legs have gone as well. So it's just Jakob Inga Britson with Henrik, and then back in... Kenya, a struggle for the Kenyan team. Chariot, head down into the wind, into the rain, trying to pick it up as they come into the home straight for the penultimate time. Trying to gauge where they are on the track. The Norwegians definitely ahead here. They're going to be taking the belt and around about 3.55. There you go. Well, there's chances here, a big last lap. The European record, three, sorry, excuse me, 4.51.39. The Kenyans well down on the time of the Norwegians, perhaps not surprisingly, well spread out in Nairobi in those terrible conditions. And now it looks as though it's all about Jakob Inge Britson. How quick can he go? Henrik trying to hang on to him. Just over 200 metres. Inge Britson, Jakob looking good. The youngster, the 19-year-old, the two-time European champion. Chariot all out on his own in Nairobi. But a long way behind in terms of time. It's... Jakob Inga Britson chasing that 351.39. Pacemakers cheering him on. He's got a great chance here. Just needs to stay strong over the last 70 or 80 meters. 50 meters to go. 40 meters. Inga Britson watching the clock. It's going to be incredibly close. And he's done it. 450.04. Chariot gamely chasing home in Kenya. He'll be the first to finish in the wind and the rain in Nairobi. Well outside five minutes. Well, it was always going to be uh, interesting to see how the two teams were going to approach it, but I don't think the Kenyans could have ever have thought that they were going to be facing the weather and the altitude, as well as Team Inga Britson. So, a new European record. Well, that's another one of mine gone, but I don't mind, because he's a great athlete. And 4.50 is an exceptional time. Not many people have run under 450, just missed going under the 450 mark. But look how strong he is in the home straight here. Inga Britson, uh, Jakob just pushing on. That time will put him sixth in the all-time list, actually. Just sneaks ahead of Noah Nien, who's the world record in the 1,000 metres. Uh, Noah Nien was sixth fastest and uh, now replaced by the 19-year-old.